Welcome to the Wildax Solaris. This is the 2017 model. We're here at the NEC Motor Home Show, so it's a great opportunity to have a look around some of our vans. The Wildax range has a very similar specification on all the models. We have two main design features. One, fully winterised. All our motor homes are fully winterised and tested independently at the Truma Research Centre and in their climate control centre down to minus 20 degrees. So we know that for winter use our vans are excellent. They're very well insulated, the water tanks are insulated with frost protection heating in them and the internal heating systems. I think it's the best on the market. It's the Truma Combi which is a four kilowatt gas and electric powered heating system. So that's one feature. The second main feature that we build into that, our whole range is use anywhere, anytime. Now that means we've designed the vans to be perfect to just drop in a field and live for as long as possible without mains electricity, without a water supply, just in the middle of nowhere. So to that end we make the vans low power, so all the lighting's LED. The Truma heating system is quite a low power usage system. We fit low power TVs if you have TVs. So the vans can go as long as possible. A vast majority of our customers at the moment are choosing to uh, go for an optional solar panel which gives you fantastic independence. The solar panels we fit are 120 watts which gives you great, great uh, um, uh, ability to just live wild. They'll charge both the leisure and the vehicle battery. We also design the vans with big water tanks. So we've got 100 litre water tanks both fresh and waste, and a 20 litre refillable gas tank on the Solaris. So you don't have to worry about gas bottles. Like the rest of the range, we have a refillable tank. You just go to the petrol station, fill it up with LPG. In the UK, LPG is in all major towns, really. And throughout Europe, it's very, very common to find places to fill up. And it's not the kind of thing you have to fill up every day or every week. It's like having two gas bottles in your van all the time. So you've got quite a good amount of gas in there. And uh, you know, some customers are only filling up once every six months. It depends very much on your usage. So the vans are very flexible in, in their design. And specification wise, we think that we've got the best spec in the UK market, both the motorhome and the vehicle side. And whilst we're here, we'll have a little talk about the vehicle. The Solaris is based on the Citroen Relay. Now this has got the new Euro 6 turbo diesel engine, which is a two litre, 130 brake horsepower. Fantastic engine, very quiet, very smooth, very fuel efficient. Even with the Euro 5s where customers reporting 40 MPG, the actual specification figures on the engine say 45 to 47. But you know, in everyday usage, getting over 40 is very, very achievable. So, on the front end, you will get as standard from Wild Axe air conditioning, cruise control, you'll get satellite navigation, you'll get a stolen vehicle tracking system included for three years, you'll get touchscreen uh, digital DAB radio with a reversing camera built in, screen through the radio, you'll get reversing sensors as standard, you'll get twin airbags, leather steering wheel, we upgrade the suspension. So it's got to be fair, it's got everything that a, a modern new car has got. Uh, we, we build up the specification on the vehicle to give you all the stuff that we were finding people were choosing as optional items. They're now included as standard. So let's have a little look around the van. Now, the Solaris is a four berth and it's split into two ends. This front end is a bit of a mixture of things. You can be a lounge, you can be traveling seats, it can be a sofa, it can be a double bed. So the cab seats both rotate. There's two tables, you've got a smaller one like this which is handy for drinks, you've got a larger one you can use for food and there are three positions for the tables. In the two middle positions you can actually uh, link both tables together to make a four person table. So these travel seats, proper three point seat belts, they will turn into a sofa and turn into a bed. Without trying to do that on the video while we're fighting around each other with the camera, this straightforward way of doing these is literally these slide forward, the backrest pop down, same on that side, and there's a cushion that sits on the bottom bunk that just drops in the middle. 
that gives you a bed that's about six foot two by about four foot six, which is a nice sized double bed sleeping across the van. You can turn either side into a sofa using the central cushion as a backrest, which gives you the ability to comfortably seat four of you around the telly if you've got one, or sit here in front of the door. All our sliding doors on the Solaris range, on the Citroen range, have a, uh, a, a large full door fly screen as well. So in hot weather or in countries where there's lots of midges and mosquitoes, you've got the net there for that. Um, storage is very good in the motorhome. You've got storage cupboards all around the top, in the seat boxes and under the beds. Right, we'll swap ends and we'll have a look at the other end of the van. Right, so the rear end of the van. We've got, and we've talked about the front end, which turns into the double bed, the, the sofas and the travelling seats. One of the big selling points of the Solaris is that you're able to get four people in comfort in a van without feeling claustrophobic. You've got a great big kitchen with full height cooker, four burners, separate grill and oven. You've got a 95 litre fridge freezer, which is a three way fridge freezer. You've got lots of worktop space because you've got worktop plus pull out. A decent sized sink. The sink has got, it comes with a few accessories. You have a drainer that fits on the lid. You have a washing up bowl design for the sink. It comes with a chopping board and another drainer that hangs on the edge of the sink. Storage is excellent. You've got a large larder unit with lots of space, lots of uh, storage underneath and the top drawer perfect for sticking a cutlery tray and various other things into. Another storage drawer and wardrobe with hanging space so also where you store the legs for the table. Lots of people go for a TV, it's an optional item. Connects up to our aerial on the roof which is standard so if you've got your own telly you can put that in. All around the top you've got these storage cupboards with the timbre doors on. We often get asked why do we use timbre doors instead of wooden doors. Well two or three reasons. Timbre doors are light, there's nothing on them to go wrong, there's no hinges or catches, You've got um, the ability to uh, close the door and not worry about it opening accidentally as you go around the first corner in the van because you haven't pressed the latch in properly. And also, and probably the biggest one, they're quiet. Most of the noise in motorhomes comes from doors rattling. These make no noise when you're driving, so it's a great positive. Come down this end and we'll have a little look. So all around the van you've got LED lights. Our uh, little spotlights, of which there are quite a few in the van, We've got two stage. First stage is night light, second stage turns them on. So then this end of the van, you've got the bunk beds. Both have got little curtains in so you can isolate them. So at night the kids can go to bed, close the, uh, the, the curtains and they've got their own little area then. They're both independently uh, lit so you can turn the lights off in each area. And so the kids, if they want to read before they go to sleep, they've got that, uh, that option. The bunks are six foot long. Uh, two foot wide on the bottom, 22 inches on the top, so decent sized beds. There's a, a ladder, which we take out at the shows, but the ladder goes here. The rollout bar, that will just pop off, because what the top bunk will do is it will fold up, and you can fold the whole bunk up against the wall, which creates a seating area at the bottom. Storage under the bottom bunk, you can access through this cupboard door here, or also underneath, you can go in from under the mattress. In addition to that, you can come in through the rear doors and access the storage from there. So it's a great place to put things like cables, leveling ramps, all the dirty stuff that you don't want to bring into the van. So the last area to look at is the washroom. Come on down. So the washroom, now I'm six foot two. I'm not a small person, I can fit in here no problem at all. So it's a nice size washroom. The majority of customers and motorhome owners tend not to shower in their vans because they'll stay on sites and use the showers in the sites. But these do give you that ability to shower because you've got a nice amount of space, you've got great water coming from that true Macombe and uh, our water system, our pump provides a proper um, pressure and a proper shower. Uh, so it's a bit like showering at home. There's enough hot water to do it and have a full shower. Uh, our 100 litre water tanks give the ability to 
run for quite a few days before having to fill up. So the wash rooms are a wet room. The door system that we use is timbre again, slightly different profile to the other ones, and this is a waterproof profile. So when the door is closed with the magnetic seal, that essentially gives you the shower curtain, but without that horrible shower curtain which just sticks to you, it gives you the ability to move around and use the space in here. The toilet is a standard cassette toilet. We upgrade it a little bit. It gives you the porcelain bowl, which is easier to clean, and the trolley cassette with the uh, handle and the wheels on it, so it's easier to empty the waste, because when they get full, they're quite a heavy item. Storage cupboard and drop-down sink, all standard. Um, great bits of kit, the drop-down sink. Been around for many years. Do the job perfectly, easy to use. Don't take up space in the, uh, in the washroom. Quick note about the design and the manufacture of our washrooms. Like most of the items that we use in the vans, they're not off the shelf items. The shower trays are not plastic. The shower trays are fiberglass. They are more robust, they're heavy duty, a lot less prone to any damage as the van gets older, which is very common in motor homes and caravans where shower trays crack. You shouldn't get that problem with ours. I'm fighting the tannoy now in the NEC. Hopefully you can still hear me okay. Okay, the last thing in the washroom is storage, uh, sorry, access door through the rear. You can put things into the van that way. It's an emergency access door. It's one of the requirements uh, through, uh, you know, motor and build regulations to have an access door. So that's the Solaris. This is a six meter van based on a three and a half ton chassis. Your payload with the average uh, specification should give you a payload in the region of about 400 kilos. It depends very much on what you uh, finalise with us as your specification. Don't forget when you're buying from Wild Axe, you're not going to buy a van off a forecourt. You're going to get a motorhome built for you. You get to choose colour schemes, you get to choose upholsteries. And the van, this is our standard upholstery, but we have many options if you decide you don't want our standard upholstery. You could even upgrade weight limits you can carry more stuff than the three and a half tons so there's many many options that you can consider the best thing to do is to contact us go through your requirements we've been doing this for many years and we know what we're talking about so we can hopefully advise you in the best way to uh, achieve the, the best motor home for your needs thank you very much right let's look in a bit more detail at some of the areas the bed in the Solaris we get lots of questions about how do our beds work the seat frames and the mechanisms, like the other things in our vans, are not off the shelf. For our design. So we've gone through a great deal of work and expense to design and test seat frames that are fully approved and fully tested for seatbelt anchorage, but also give you very straightforward and easy to use bed mechanisms. So on this side, let's have a look. These seats slide down like this. Dead simple. You can remove the table if it's in the way. Same on the other side, just slide that one down. We talked about sofas. The cushion that was in the back of the van, it just sits on the, uh, the bunk bed. You can use it as a backrest as a sofa. So put it into this format, you've got a great seating area. These don't need any support underneath. The heavy duty runners, they'll hold uh, 100 kilos per pair. So for the vast majority of our customers, that's absolutely fine. To make it to a double bed, this cushion has got a rigid back in it, so you literally drop it into the gap. There is a little metal frame that clips in here and just supports the front end of it, but essentially all you do is drop it into the gap, put it in place, and then you've got your double bed. From wall to wall, six foot two, it's a good sized double bed, very easy to put up, very easy to put away, only 10 to few seconds.